Well, hello, it's Aton. I'm here in Chatsworth on a lovely Sunday afternoon, and I'm right in front of the Mini Hill Palmer House, otherwise known as Homestead Acre. Now, this is a very simple cottage-style home made from redwood, simple board and batten. There wasn't a fireplace, there wasn't a chimney, they didn't even have electricity here until after World War II. But there were a lot of cottages kind of like this that dotted the San Fernando Valley uh, around the turn of the 20th century. And this is the last one that is still in its original location. This house was built by the Hill family. James Hill and his wife Rhoda, they got married in Arkansas and they came out west in the 1860s, landed in Visalia in California's Central Valley. They ended up on this parcel of land in 1886. So they took advantage of the Homestead Act, which basically gave homesteaders the right to take a parcel of land if they started tilling it and working it for at least five years. Now this house itself was not built until 1911, but by that time, they had really entrenched themselves in the growing Chatsworth community. They sold off 10 acres of land to the Southern Pacific Railroad in the early 1900s who were building the railroad, tunneling through the hills over here to get into Simi Valley. So James would truck in oranges and plums, all kinds of goodies for the railway workers. His wife and their kids would help washing their clothes. After the railroad was built, one of the Hill's sons, Lovell, became a mover and shaker in Chasworth. So he took over a general store uh, called the Graves and Hill General Store and then became Chatsworth's postmaster from about 1912 to 1915. In the 1920s, Lovell started a successful dynamite company called the Trojan Powder Company and they would distribute dynamite all over California. In fact, there is a stone shack on the property right by the entrance to this park uh, where they used to keep the dynamite. Sounds safe. Now we got to talk about the amazing woman, Minnie Hill Palmer, who is the namesake for this house. Minnie was the seventh child of James and Rhoda, and the first who was born here in Chatsworth. In 1909, she married a gentleman named Alfred Palmer. They went to Montana and tried out farming out there. It didn't quite work out as they expected. So in 1920, they returned to live at Homestead Acre and helped take care of Rhoda, Minnie's ailing mom. Minnie's husband Alfred passed away in 1946 and her brother followed in 1952. So by that time, Minnie was more or less living alone here on this 230 acre parcel. So a bunch of it was sold to a uh, sports center, but uh, she sold it on the condition that she could stay here on the property. And that she did. Roy Rogers even got involved. So his name was on uh, the sports center for a number of years before it became city property. But that whole time, Minnie was living on a one, 1 1.3 acre uh, parcel, including this house, which is how it got the name Homestead Acre. A lot of her life was patterned very much on how it used to be. She still gardened every day, made a lot of her own food from what she grew here, even up until 1976 when uh, she left and went to a rest home. There's a great story about all of these uh, golf balls <laughs> that were uh, smacked into her garden. Part of her daily routine would be to go collect the golf balls and bring them back to the golf course uh, whenever she had a few buckets full. So she passed in 1981. By that time, the Chatsworth Historical Society had already taken over conservatorship of the property. They are still based out of here. The first Sunday of every month from one to four, you can tour it. So I love Homestead Acre. Not only does it preserve the history of this amazing woman, Minnie Hill Palmer, but it's also one of the few connections that we have to these early pioneering days of the West San Fernando Valley. Thanks for doing LA with me.